Right. All right. Do I look okay? Is this my know. this is my good side? You gotta nope. Come on. Good. This is my hey, bad we side. We gotta switch. Yeah. Gotta switch okay. Side. Oh, there, there you go. Side. There you go. Oh no, there's sun. No, no, no. I, no, I, no, I like I the other was, side. Yeah. 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 No, that was way better way the other way. It. Okay. Nice. All right. Yeah. Right. Okay. We good. Yeah. We're good. You got a booger. Just kidding. You didn't have that. All right. All right. It's just my beard. Hey guys, Luke here with Follower, and we're gonna be doing some slingshot creating, and I'm gonna learn how to make a slingshot and then how to shoot it accurately. We're gonna take a few of these cold steel shovels that we got here, we're gonna go and chop down some branches and uh, start whittling some slingshots. So follow along, it should be really interesting. Let's do it. We just wanna find ourselves a nice tree fork. And I see two of them here, so but let's cut these two down. And uh, I got a fork here and a fork up there. And we'll use the leftover branches from my shelter that I've been working on over here in my 87 day series. Nice. Who needs an ax when you have a cold steel shovel, right? Nice. There's your slingshot right there. There's your handle and there's your, your forks. So we got our our slingshots that we cut from the Y whoops <laughs> from the Y of the tree. And now we're pretty much there's not much left to do. Make these even these out a little bit. So and then make it a flat straight across a line there. And then there's gonna be a notch on one side. So as the bands of the slingshot come over it, when you tie them on there, it uh, holds it in place. And then uh and we'll carve a little fun details into it for the heck of it. Okay. And, cool. Uh, make it make it yours. Kind of hey, thing. excellent. All right, I'm going to be using my LT Wright Genesis for the carving here today. And uh, followers got what you got your. I got the. Uh, I think I'm using my Ultimate Hunter that uh, Cold Steel sent me. I've been liking that an awful lot. Not just because it's orange, <laughs> but yeah. He's so vain. He's just so vain. Everything has to be orange. And well, you're not wearing your hat today. No. It's too hot. It's too yeah. hot as heck out okay, here. There's no right. way I'm wearing that. On. Wimp. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we got our slingshots we made. Now we got a couple things to put them together with. Got some of these little bands for tying on the pouches. And then we got some latex bands that we're gonna use. This is a double band set. We're gonna cut it down and make two single band sets. Okay. So that we each have a band set for our new slingshots that we just carved. So, and we're gonna use the latex. And then we have the warrior pouches. Ooh, uh, very nice. They are something, these guys sent them to me. They're a, a laminated pouch. For slingshots made out of like military grade fiber uh, laminated to leather and stuff very cool all right so awesome we'll rig those up and uh, shoot some slingshots and i got something here for you this is all the way from northern minnesota these are taconite pellets. They mine these out of the ground. This is the hardest, one of the hardest rocks there is, taconite, and then is bound with bentonite. They grind it into powder and then make pellets out of there. So that's for you. No so, kidding. Yep. So it's not steel. It's it's taconite, which is what they make steel out of. Oh, okay. Yep. So, this, no kidding. Yep, they grind it up and then mix it with this clay and it makes these nice little taconite pellets. There's clay in these too? That's right. That's what they're that, bound together with. No kidding. That is wild. These are going to be great. That was it. It's a perfect slingshot material. Yeah, they're, they're not like, you don't want to use them at target range because they're a little lumpy, but I've been wanting to shoot outdoors and not waste money on all this expensive ammo, flinging it into the atmosphere as right. I try to shoot cans out of the air. This is like a year's supply of, of shooting cans out of the air there worth of ammo right there. there you go. And next year when you come back up, you can bring me another there bucket. That's right. <laughs> next year, bring me a five gallon pack. Okay, all right, I'll give you a bigger one. Yeah, right. Get on that, I'm gonna all get right. right on that. Okay, yeah, right. All, all right. right. Awesome. Let's uh, let's try some of these out to start with and then we'll, we'll try some of the Tac Knight pellets too. And right. I got some other slingshots that I have for sale on my website, fowlersmakerymischief.com. And this is my everyday carry. A simple shot slingshot, and that's why I carry a simple shot slingshot. This is my slingshot that I used out on a loan okay. for that 87 days. Let's shoot some slingshots. All right, Father's going to do a quick intro into how to shoot a slingshot. All right, so got your slingshot, got your ammo, load that into the pouch. 
Now you're gonna want to hold just the ammo. Whether you hold it upside down like this when you're pulling on it, you're holding the ammo, not the pouch. See how you pinch the pouch, that's bad. Makes it flip out of your fingers and go all when it comes free. So pinch just the ammo, just the ball inside or stone, whatever you're shooting inside the pouch, like so. And then you're going to take and draw back and away from you towards the ground or, or something. And then you bring it up to your eye and you sight down the bands, placing the band or if it's your cheek lock here, like an archer, placing that just against your cheek. Or if it's the bands and you're drawing back a little further, you're just touching those hairs right here on your cheek against the band. Now you're sighting down the bands. And if you're doing it right, these two bands and everything's in a line become one, just like that when you're sighting down them. Now as you're sighting down them and they become one, you're lining your target up like this, right here. You're looking down that line of the bands and placing your target right at that point right there. And you can see when I do that, you can see his eye looking right down those bands. Right. And you put that right on the target, right there. And then allow for a smooth release to come free, free of your fingers, sending your projectile downrange and you hold it for a second, maybe count to one or whatever it takes so that you don't pull away. Because if you don't follow through and you drop your hand, it you, you throws, your, throws your aim all off. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like shooting. Just, yeah. Should be pretty simple. Yeah. This is a piece of cake. I'm gonna hit these pop cans right away. And also stand behind your friend as he's shooting with him at your back. If you're in front, a misfire that bounces off of the frame with the ammo bounces off the frame can ricochet out into this field in front of the shooter. Yeah, you just so don't want to be in front of me when I'm you shooting. Want That's, you stay as behind. As much as possible, be, be behind your shooter. Okay. Ooh, just a little high. Try another one here. Now low. Hmm. We'll get it. It's not as easy as it looks. Wow, All not right. even close now. Now this time when you draw back, look at your back hand. Your back hand is twisting like this. Oh, uh, okay. So that causes it to have to come, the ammo to fi fight its way free of the pouch and throws your aim off a little bit. So bring it straight back. There we go, like that. Wow, that was far worse than anyone yeah, I've done before. That'll happen <laughs> as you try to focus. When you're you focusing to, on one thing. You're focusing and... on your technique and, your, and stuff like that. So you need to do that. Focus on your technique and then settle into your shooting stance. And then you focus through onto your target. Okay. And narrowly focus on your target. You, wanna, you don't want to just focus on trying to hit the can. You're trying to hit the center of the can and that point in the center of the can and that cell. That it, you know, on the yeah. cellular level, that is right there, and zero in on that, like they do Molecu in the movies. Molecular aiming. Yeah, you're aiming for that molecular point, okay. that atom. All right. Trying to split the atom. Oh, hit the board underneath it. Yep, that was good. Hitting there. All right, try it. Oh, he got it. First shot. Wow, nice shot. Well, now I don't have anything to shoot at. Now we gotta put some more cans in. Oh, yes, we have more cans. Excellent. Do you have bigger ones? Bigger, yeah, bigger cans. Get a 40? Yeah, that's right. A whole keg the way I'm shooting here right now. So, this thing's pretty cool. Made my own slingshot. Kind of survivally, right? You know, kind of a survival thing to do. It uh, works pretty good so far. So, we'll see. Maybe I can hit some. That'd be nice. Do you want to oh, hold it? I missed. I missed. I was aiming. I was aiming for the O, and I hit the P next to it. My goodness! <laughs> How terrible! All right. That's an eighth of an inch. Oh, just above it. Not bad. Getting there. Shot. Ignore. That's kind of. The fly. <laughs> Ignore the fly on your nose. No, he's on a band. <laughs> You're gonna go for a ride, fly. The fly did that. If he was on a band, that he threw the off. weight off. Of yep. The... No, that was all his fault. 
I can use as many as you want and edit it so it looks like you got it on the second try <laughs> if you want. I don't care. <laughs> Shh, you can't tell them that. You can edit that part out too. <laughs> Ooh. I'm going to try with the speed shooters to give, make it harder. Okay. Oh, so, yeah, to make it harder. So <laughs> Someone has to make it more difficult, I guess. This is my ex instinctive speed shooter that I built, and I've been trying to beat the Guinness World Record with it. I haven't had a chance to practice with it a lot lately, so I'm really bad at it. Um, but it's it, uh, the Guinness World Record is 25 cans in a minute. If I can... Wow. So, or, or maybe it was 24. But either way, it's a lot, and I'm only up to like 12, and then lately I haven't practiced a lot, so I don't know. I'm probably down to like 7. And, uh, but I've also, for the fun of it, practicing, trying to like quick draw it. And so I can be like, whoop, bing, and see if I can't do it here today. Ugh. I don't think I could load that thing in 25 times in a minute. Oh, nice. Boom. Instinctively, see if we get two in a row that way. Nope. And part of the speed shooting is I, I hold a bunch of ammo in my hand while I'm doing it, loading it. So I don't have to draw out more ammo from the pouch. It's not, I don't have it anymore. I'm losing it. Oh, oh I got nice. it. Is that four? Even a blind squirrel finds a nut every once in a while, you know. <laughs> and just in case you're wondering, that's... 33 feet we're practicing at. That's what the Guinness World Record is held at, and that's what most competitions use as their distance. Perfect form. Ooh, that was good. Close. Try to increase your follow through this time. Yep. To just, as you release, try to pull it out of your back hand by pushing forward on the forks and pointing at what you're aiming at. Okay. See what I'm saying? Yep. What a great day to go out and play in the woods, huh? Mm-hmm. That's one of the biggest things I loved being out there on the wheel was just I got to go play in the woods for yeah. 60 days. <laughs> How much fun is that? I hear that. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, that looking it forward really takes my all my mind off of the release in the back. Mm-hmm. Yep. Nice! Woo! Two shots of changing up your technique a little bit. Oh, oh ticked it. Tick. Boom. Hits 33 feet, Hits one, inch, one inch golf ball, inch and a quarter golf ball. Well, I didn't know we were trying to shoot Still that. Still got it. I didn't know we were trying to shoot that. Wait. Now that I know. All right, well, I had a great time shooting the slingshot here that we made. Start from scratch. This thing was a branch a little while ago, and Fowler helped make it into a pretty good slingshot. Got to hit a pop can with it, pretty excited. Now I'm gonna be trying to hit that golf ball. I'll have to get one of those one of these days. And then I'm gonna to have to beat him with that 25 can ridiculous in a minute or whatever challenge. We'll see. Guinness World Book of Records? Yeah. Oh, you think you got yeah. it? So what, and maybe in three years. Oh, three it's years. It's gonna okay. take some practice. <laughs> then I'll go on Jimmy Fallon and I'll do it there. There you go, all you right, know? all right, all sounds right. good. All right, well, thanks for for having me. It was a lot of fun doing this. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, it was great. We'll tune in next time for the next videos. We're gonna be doing a little shovel throwing here coming up. We'll see you guys later.